Welcome back. In this lesson, we're picking up where we left off with the authentication code along, and we're going to add in the login functionality. So that means we need to add in the two login routes, one that's for the form, it renders the form, and the other one that actually does the login logic. And then we actually need to create the form, and then we'll test it out. So let's get started. Inside app.js, we're going to add two routes. And those two routes, again, one is a get request, and one is a post request. Both will be slash login, just like we did for register. So let's start with the form. And I'll make another note here. These will be login routes. And the first one is just going to render login form. And that one's nice and easy. App.get slash login request response and the callback. And we'll just do a res dot render login. Now let's create that form. So touch views slash login dot EJS. And then we'll open that up. Views slash login dot EJS. Great. And we'll just add a nice H1 that says login. And let's make sure that we see this when we start the app. Let's go to our application and go to slash login. And we see the template. So now let's add in the form. And this will be just like the registration form, except for one big difference, which is where the form submits to. So we'll add that last. Let's just go with our inputs again. So type equals text on the first one, name equals username, and placeholder equals username. And then we'll duplicate that. And here we'll do type equals password. Name will be password again and placeholder will be password. And then we'll add in our button to submit the form. And we'll just write login. And then we have to work on the actual form itself. So this form needs to send a post request to slash login. Login as a post will be our other route that we haven't defined yet, but that's where we'll actually process the data and figure out if the credentials match. So let's set that up inside of login.ejs. We have action equals slash login and method is also a post. So this form is actually on the slash login as a get route and it submits to slash login as a post. Now let's take a look at it, refresh the page. We see the form, great. If we try and submit it right now, we don't have a slash login as a post route and it will just time out. So we'll go back now and add the login post route. And this route will be responsible for login logic. So app.post slash login function request and response. And in here, we have some new logic. And it's actually not that new because we already used it up here where we have passport.authenticate local We'll do the exact same thing, except there's a small twist, which is that we're not gonna do it inside of the callback here. We're actually going to do it right here as a second argument. So let me show you what it looks like first and then go over it. So app.post login, and then we're going to add passport.authenticate, and that will take local as a string, comma, and then opening and closing braces, and inside those braces, it's an object, and we're going to pass in success redirect, and that will be slash secret. And then failure redirect will be slash login again. And we'll save. And our authenticate needs to actually close here around that. So it takes those two arguments, passport.authenticate local, and then this entire object. And those are parameters we're passing in comma, and then this is our callback function. And we don't actually need to put anything in here for now, so we'll just leave it empty. So now let's talk about what we've done here. We've already seen passport.authenticate, but we haven't seen it used like this inside of the app.post where it's not in the callback itself. So this is what's known as a middleware. And we'll be working with middleware and writing our own middleware in the next video. But the idea of middleware, I'll spell it out here, middleware, is that it's some code that runs before our final route callback here. When our app gets a post request to slash login, 
it's going to run this code immediately. And we can have multiple middleware stacked up. So we can have another thing that will run after we authenticate and then another thing after that. And the idea is that they sit between the beginning of your route and then at the end of the route, which is our handler at the very end, hence the name middleware. So again, we'll be creating our own middleware in the next video. But for now, all you need to know is that this is called a middleware and we're calling passport.authenticate. Remember the whole point of that is that it actually tries to log you in. It checks, it authenticates your credentials. So it's going to take the password and the username that are in the request, inside request.body. We don't even have to explicitly provide that. Passport automatically takes the username and password from the form or from the request body. And it's basically going to compare the password that the user typed into the input and compare that to that crazy hashed version in the database. And then we provide an object with two parameters, success redirect and failure redirect. So if it works, we're going to redirect to slash secret. And if it doesn't work, we'll redirect to slash login. Before we test this out, there's one other line of code that we need to configure passport with. So up top where we did the passport.serialize and deserialize user, we're going to add another one in passport.use new local strategy which is what we imported here. Passport local, we saved it to local strategy. So we'll go back to that new local strategy and then in parentheses, user.authenticate and save. So we're creating a new local strategy using the user.authenticate method that is coming from passport local mongoose. So we don't actually have to write the authenticate method either that's given to us. And then we're just telling Passport for the local strategy, use that version of user.authenticate. Okay, so now we have that set up. Our authenticate should work. So let's give it a shot, node app.js. And let's start by trying to sign up or sign in with an account we know doesn't work. Login, and it takes me back to the login page. And that's what we had set up here. Failure redirect slash login. Now let's sign in with an account that I know works. And this time it takes me to the secret page. So we now have login working. We still don't have sign out, but we have login working. So I can sign up using register. And then I can also log in. We have a form route, just like register had a form route. And then we have a post route to actually do the authentication. And then we talked about middleware, which is the idea of having some code that runs between the start of a route and the final end of that route handler. In the next and final video in this series, we're going to implement logout and we'll also create our own middleware.